Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? And so I um I had gotten a new uh palette from ColourPop actually about a month ago and it was one of the ones I missed when they first came out. So I was really excited to get it and I was like, oh yeah, I'm gonna wear this one all fall long and it's gonna look so good and everything. And um I got it, I put it on, I went over to Alta, I took a look in the mirror. And I was like, no, I kind of look like, well, like I had pink eye or like I um, was maybe a zombie or something. It didn't look good. Halloween, like month early, yeah. So um, that was the wine and only palette from ColourPop. And um, so my first look with it didn't work really well at all. And when I, so I was over at Alta, I thought I'd get a different palette to go ahead and mix with it because I have a series where I mix, you know, two of the ColourPop palettes together and that way you have more choices, more looks that you can get instead of just using a single ColourPop palette. So I picked up one of the classics and that's It's Taupe. And so I've spent the last week sort of working on uh, mixing these two palettes together to go ahead and get some good looks and uh, the It's Taupe is um, it's very neutral I mean it does have shiny ones but there's neutral shiny colors um, so it goes really good with one and only which is really really saturated uh, has a ton of pigment kind of palette so what I've done today is I've gone ahead and used this one on the brow and then I went ahead and used, um, or pardon me, this one on the inner corner, and then this one on the brow. And I think I'll add some more to the inner corner here. Even this, um, this shade that you would think would come out gold, it comes out pink. And so, at least on me, it comes out pink. And then, as far as the it's taupe, or that's taupe, <laughs> um, I had a I mixed it in this on the outer corner and uh, then this one on the lid and it really just balances out um, the wine and only so these two do go really well together if you want to go ahead and mix them another uh, newish I got this about a month ago too and it's the out of quartz it's and color pop it's actually a blush it looks like a highlighter it's a really pretty um rose gold and um so i went ahead and used that on the cheeks and yeah so they're like that and then i went ahead and added in seismic as well so that's what i have on as a highlighter um let's see and then i used a uh, juice bar um, over the top. So I went ahead and put the cream on first and then I put on a little bit of the highlighter and then I used Juice Bar um, over the top of the highlighter and um, the cream and um, it just helps everything last a little bit longer and have a little bit more uh, color saturation in there as well. As far as what I used on my face itself uh, for my base, I went ahead and used the Misha um, Real Complete BB Cream. This one um, is in number 21. And then I mixed in a little bit of the Soul and, Body, or Soul and Face and Body um, Bronzer and Fair. And the Soul you can get on the ColourPop website. It's a sister um, brand to ColourPop. And then the Misha you can get over at um, Amazon. And they only have about six shades in this. It's actually from Korea. Uh, this one is one for the oily, um, oily combo skin. And it also has um, a whole uh, list of skincare ingredients in there as well. And so that's what I have on the face today. And i um, really glad that I got the bronzer so now that I can mix it in with um, the shades that I have that just aren't working because I got a little bit of color um, during the summer. So uh, yeah, I'm having to 
actually make my foundations and BB creams a little bit darker right now. Uh, the bronzer that I used was the Heat Wave by Flower. I think I need to get a new one. I've kind of busted this one up. Um, I use a Pretty Fresh concealer from ColourPop as far as my concealer and the Make Me Brow um, by Essence for the brow. Let's see, Sungasm as an all over powder, all over the face. Then I went ahead and used the Charlotte Tilbury uh, just under the eyes. And let's see, as far as what I have on the lips, um, I have the It's Complicated by uh, Oma by Sharon C that you can get at Walmart. This is new to me, but it's one of the colors that they originally came out with. Uh, what is new or new um, over at Walmart is uh, the lip glosses. Uh, this is the rosy lip gloss. They don't have a color like the um, It's Complicated. You know, the It's Complicated you can use on the lips or you can use it on the cheeks. Uh, this one is just a gloss, so um, yeah, you can't do that with it, but it is a pretty gloss. Gloss. Lip. So, uh, uh, that's gloss, and it is really pretty. Um, as far as the eye look, um, I went ahead and used the ColourPop uh, Cream Gel Liner in Brown, and this is the way that that turned out. And uh, other than that, yeah, um, I think this is a combination I'll be wearing a lot during the fall and winter. Um, really pretty, uh, just uh, but really subtle, and so you almost have to build it up to get enough on there. You don't really have to, uh, just uh, this tip with using the cream and then um, the highlighter and then uh, putting a powder blush over the top. It's just helped me a lot um, for just getting it to stay and, you know, for that 48 hour mark or, yeah. So uh, that tip works really well for me. I hope it works well for you. I think that's about all of that I have. Yeah. That's all I have for this video, um, so thank you and have a great day. Bye.